G'day you beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting a new series which is going to revolve around building decks uh, by giving you information that can help you to build your own decks. Okay, I have been wanting to do this for a little while. Uh, I've been contemplating uh, putting alternate uh, decks up on my build, on my, uh, on my channel. Generally the hero guards that I do, they're uh, Although I give you all the information you need uh, on there about the damage and scaling uh, and cooldowns of everyone's abilities and basic um, basic attacks, the builds that I actually supply there are just builds that I use myself. Okay, but there are many many different alternate builds that can be used, and very very soon I will be posting a howitzer, a uh, aurora and a sparrow alternate deck that I like to use. Um, but for now I want to focus on the fact that I've been noticing a lot of people are running really really silly cards on their builds that don't suit their heroes. When you build a deck for a certain hero you want to build for their strengths. Okay, so if you are building a Murdoch deck for example, you do not want to build mana, you don't want to build mana, uh, mana regen, you don't want to build cooldown reduction, uh, you don't want to build ability pen, okay? Uh, when you are playing as a caster, like Gideon, who is a burst caster, okay? He revolves around doing a lot of damage really quickly with his abilities and using up all his mana. He's a burst caster, okay? A, don't use Hydroversa. And B, he has extremely low basic attack scaling, which means that he gets, for every 100 power you actually put on your build, he gets 30 damage on his basic attack because he has a 0.3 scaling on his basic attack. Whereas something like his Cosmic Rift, which is an ability which uh, is not going to benefit from running crit, has a 1.25 scaling. So you get 125 power, 125 damage rather, for every 100 power you put on your build. So building towards his strengths would revolve around just building straight power, okay? Hydroversa does not help him at all because he bursts his abilities so quickly and uses his mana up so quickly that if you were to long range poke someone with your cosmic rift and then teleport in to get an ultimate, you've already lost that much mana that a straight up power build will beat it every time, okay? And after that, the amount of money you're going to have left, right, with a Hydra Burst build, yes, you'll have a little bit of mana regen, but the person running the straight up power build will absolutely shit on you with damage compared to the damage you're doing on a low mana Hydra Burst build. Okay, build towards strengths. All right, I'm going to provide in the description down below a link to the wiki which will give you all the information for every single hero on what their stats and scaling are for every one of their basic attacks and abilities, which is where I get the information for my hero guides. So my goal at the end of the series, which if there is ever is an end, is to get you to be able to build your own decks without having to rely on people that post stupid builds on YouTube revolving around a crit howitzer, okay? Don't run crit on howitzer, it's fucking stupid, right? I'm sorry for swearing, but stop it. It's stupid, it's not his strength. His basic attack is his weakness. Okay, so there's a couple of things I'm really quickly gonna go over, because I'm gonna try and keep this as quick as possible. Uh, before I get into anything, the very first thing is wards save lives, okay? Wards save lives, put wards on your deck. The only time you shouldn't be running wards on your deck is if you play with someone every day and you run carry and they run support. If you trust him with your life and you know he's going to keep you warded and your team's keeping you warded, fair enough, don't have a ward because you'll get more power to do more damage. Uh, what we're actually going to look at right here is we're going to look at this howitzer deck. I'm also just quickly going to start a new deck and Let's just go with Howitzer as an example, okay? Howitzer is a caster, okay? He has bad attack damage scaling on his basic attack, okay? Uh, so when you're building a deck, you're given the option of three prime cards. Howitzer is not a tank, okay? You don't really want to build him as a tank. 
so the centurion is a bit of a waste okay so then you're left with the archmages and the warlord the warlord prime card is a card that should be used by damage dealers okay it's something that grok should take if he's not going to take centurion it's something that murdoch and sparrow should take because they're the ones that are doing damage to the towers okay so they don't need their minions to do 300 percent damage to structures if you're running gideon or howitzer you want to run the archmages that is why this one's called the warlord and this one is called the archmages okay this is for casters this is for tanks and fighters this is for rangers and fighters okay so archmages for this guy all right so then if we go and we actually have a look wherever the hell that just went there was another build uh which would be this one no it would be the other one uh, if we go in and have a look at this this is really vague example i'm not telling you right now to run adam and edges okay this is just a basic look at how i would build a deck and this actually here is an example if we just get rid of these the uh, actually i'll talk about these first because then we can get rid of them these are three very cheap early game cards six point cards they're easy to finish and they give you more um they will give you more damage early game because you're finishing them quicker and getting your fully upgraded bonus okay so this is a 6 12 18 points okay three cards for 18 cp if you were to run two nine point cards okay which would mean that these would be two point upgrades all right you are spending the same amount of CP as someone else and you're not getting quite as much power all right so we'll get rid of them my main point was just to illustrate that you want to have some six point cards in your build at least if you're a Murdoch uh, and you have the ability to use Madstone gems abuse the shit out of Madstone gems these cards are incredible they're two points you can run five point cards guys I actually, on a couple of my fighters, run three five-point Madstone gems and a six-point Madstone gem. Then I have four early game cards, and one of the Madstone gems actually stays in my build. Okay. This, however, is an actual build that I would use for Howitzer. A 12-point ward, two 12-point meltdowns, two 9-point meltdowns, and a six-point meltdown. Because that way, I have an extra early game card doing damage okay so this is a good structure three twelves two nines and a six another way that you could build uh is four twelves and two sixes uh you know what i mean um but now that we actually get one cp at a time you can build any way you really want um i kind of recommend putting your ward as one of your really expensive cards and just not upgrading it until later because it's got a shitty fully upgraded bonus so there's not really much point in worrying about upgrading it okay but this is a really good build for howitzer okay all it is is straight up power and penetration that penetration makes sure our 2000 missile do even more damage if we were to take uh say one of these nine point cards off and make that our crit bonus take one of these 12s off to make it a crit card we would then be stuck with nearly half as much power on our build okay that half as much power on our build that we're uh, is creating a more powerful basic attack means that things like our r2000 missile our ultimate and our mine do nowhere near as much damage as what they should this build here will provide you with an r2000 missile that will do around about 760 damage okay it's disgusting all right you run, if you were to run a crit build, you'd be lucky if you're hitting 500s with your R2000 missile. You'd probably hit 500, 550, okay, which is nowhere near as much, right? It adds up over time. Howitzer is a brilliant caster. He's really, really good. And running a lot of power and a lot of pen is a brilliant way to go. A lot of people that main Howitzer will tell you the same thing, guys, because we're building towards his strengths, okay? Just remember that. If you look at uh, 
my Murdoch build, for example, if I can ever find it. The way that I build my deck is not necessarily the way that you want to build it, but the end result has got to be somewhere similar, okay? You might not want to run Brand of Iron Eater for your lifesteal. You might not want to run Blade of Agora. You might want your lifesteal on your crit bonus card. That is fine because you're still building crit, building attack speed, and building lifesteal. It's a good way to build, and it gets you a dirty, dirty Murdoch, okay? But you don't want to be building hate spitters on your fucking Murdoch, alright? You don't want to, like I have actually seen people do, if I can find the bloody thing, and it should be right about here, you do not want to run Merciless on Murdoch, okay guys? He doesn't cause bleed, so this is a wasted card, alright? Three points and you're losing your fully upgraded bonus for a unique passive that you will not proc unless you're following Grux around like a bad smell. Okay? Don't use it, alright? Abuse the shit out of Madstone Gems. Putting two Madstone Gems on as 5 point cards and then a 5 point Flash Fire Piston will provide you with a disgusting amount of damage, okay? Build to their strengths, alright? That is probably going to be it for now, guys, except for the fact that I just want to say one more time, wards save lives. In the next video, I'll be moving on to how to build for rangers and then we'll move through all the different kinds of heroes okay um my aim in this actual series here is not to provide you with great builds for you to actually run and copy down and run it's to provide you with the information you need to do it yourself okay so check out the link in the description down below go see the wiki and uh try to figure out what everything means uh, and uh, try to figure out everything for yourself. I'll give you as much information as I can along the way to help you out, uh, but the rest hopefully will be up to you and you'll, you'll be fine. Uh, there is no point spending the rest of your life on Paragon just copy and pasting other people's builds. I would much rather spend my time trying to teach you how to build yourself than just giving you stuff to copy and paste, okay? So I hope you found this helpful in any way, shape, or form. Um, if you did, please smash that like button. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have anything uh, that you would like me to uh, explain further. Uh, if you have any questions at all, just hit me up in the comments, and I will get back to you as soon as humanly possible. I do reply to all my comments. Uh, subscribe if you're not already, but as per usual, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I love your face, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.